Hello, g'day everyone, it's Bergasms here with a bit of an update for the mole plugin. It's been about a year since it was last updated. Uh, so I've made a few changes that have been needed for a long time and yeah, I'll share them with you now. So the first thing is you guys are probably getting sick of the team names that are coming up. Uh, so I added a few more options for you. So you can do random teams, number of teams, and then if you do option one, teams, team one, it will just order them by number. So team one, team two, team three, team four, uh, if that's what floats your boat. However, in the plugins config file, which uh, by the way, you'll need to delete your old config files to use the new plugin. There's two more arrays set at the bottom called nouns and verbs. So you can go uh, both to use options from both your user defined nouns and verbs. And then, for example, the rustled jimmies. Hey, hey. However, you can also just use your own nouns and the night of the jimmies, <laughs> the user defined verbs. Or you can use your own verbs and use the inbuilt ones, so the rustled cactus haters. Or you can just leave it how it was and use the old ones. So that's up to you and yeah, have fun with that. Uh, the second thing is you guys are probably also used to having to do slash set moles as hosts for when you want to do it. Well now you can go start game and then the number of seconds till you want the uh, moles to come in. So for example, 60 being a minute means 600 is 10 minutes, so you can do that. Um, so I'll just do a short example. It goes by server ticks though, so it may not be 100% accurate. And you can always do slash set moles and it will override the timer uh, regardless. So there we go, moles have been set. Now I've made a few changes to the moles. The first one you'll notice is the law, so you can see somewhat what's in there. And the second thing you'll notice is there seems to be a lot of cobblestone going around. So I'll explain what that's for. So let's look at the mobber first. Uh, pretty standard sort of kit. Bunyip, it's creeper. Pigman, dynamite and an enderpearl. But there's also this thing called an escape hatch. Now let's assume that you've just pissed off your teammates by spawning a heap of mobs on them and you need a bit of a breather because they're all coming to kill you, boom! It creates for you a, uh, what is it, four down and 15 high pillar of obsidian, which should hopefully help you escape while your teammates are trying to bust in to kill you. So. That's the escape hatch. It could be quite interesting. Um, now, we will just use the regular set moles command here. And, oh, by the way, that start game command, you can use the regular set moles option after that. So if you don't actually want moles, you can use start game, time, and then option one. So let's have a look at the potter. So he's been nerfed a little bit. No strength pots anymore. There's slowness, weakness, poison, drinkable swiftness, an end pearl, and another thing called a staircase. I wonder what this could do. So now, for example, you've just chucked a poison pot in one of your teammates and the rest is coming to kill you. Boom, staircase. Actually, I need to fix the directions because I think in this direction. Yeah, that's the way. Basically, it just creates a chunk of a staircase. Um, remember, you can use this whenever, so you can pre-prepare your escape route. Isn't that fantastic? I'm keen to see what people will do with that. Uh, what else have we got in here? Ah, oh, the pyro. Mm, fairly standard. Bucket of lava. Five blaze spawner. Lighter. Potion of fire resist. Some dynamite. And another trap called the hole. The hole. Dun dun dun. Uh, the hole is quite funny. Basically, <laughs> the hole is funny. Basically, what it does is creates a hole around you. 
which could be the difference between life and death as your teammates suddenly fall down into a hole. Or if you're really smart, I think I can hear some around here, you might find some lava. Also, this is another thing that I have to show you. It doesn't care what block you put it under. So if you can manage to get your team down to the bedrock air level, you could just get a kill by dropping them all into the void. So I really hope someone does that. <laughs> um, all right, moving right along. What else have we got? The troll, pretty standard stuff. Um, you know, some <laughs> Ford, yeah, <laughs> explosive cart, fireworks, plenty of holes for the troll. Uh, now this is the tile for the end portal. However, you guys might want to test that this, this still works because currently, yeah, it doesn't seem to work on my server. So I don't know what plugin settings we've got. I think it's basically being flagged as a non-allowed block, but just a word of warning if you want to use that particular mole item or others like still lava or something like that. So what else have we got? The last one I think, oh the fighter. So splash damage, harming, he's got a staircase to help get away, arrow bow and basically a golden head's worth of health. Um, the original fighter kit I don't think was ever getting used, it was not very good. So you know if you want to get into some PvP this will maybe give you the advantage you need. Um, I figure it's not that bad because the fighter kit means you have to attack your teammates head on and if you do that you're going to be found out which means you'll need to try and get away and you know you'll have to get away before you can eat your apples so I don't think that's too OP and as I say you guys can change it and last but definitely not least is the trapper so let's get his items on the bar here now the original trapper kit obviously suffered from the problem that to build traps you need time and cunning and most people just don't have that. Um, most people are not kiwi source. So anyway, first trap you can mouse over is the simple TNT trap. You know, maybe not 100% likely to catch someone with it, but it's an oldie and a goodie and yeah, easy to use. Oh, let me just quaff down another Beverage. I don't think we'll need another two minutes. So that should be good. Um, next up is the lava trap. Oh my god, I'm burning! As popularized by I think MC Gamer in previous season of Minecraft. Uh, so that's all good. And finally, let's try one here. Is Drop trap, 25 blocks straight down. And uh, I can't remember, I don't think this one is allowed to go through to the void. Yeah, it's not. This one stops in, uh, this one stops at the bedrock. So you'll have to think about how you use that and at what level you use that at. But yeah, hopefully this gives people some impetus to start working on using more traps and being the trapper. Um, yeah, it could be a lot of fun. I hope to see people use this. Oh, and one other thing that I added that I think you guys are gonna be really happy about is if you do PM, it has your name in it, oh my God. And similarly, if you do mole chat and uh, what is it, the mole location, it has the person's name in it, so yeah, and just has the message in general, which is something that's been missing for the whole of ages and forever. So this is Mole version 3, um, I'll include the item IDs for the special special things down in, um, down in the description down there, so you guys can mix and match how you please, and I encourage you to do so. And yeah, I think that's about it. Any questions, queries, other things you want added, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.